So guys, this is a different type of video for me. It's not to be funny. It's not to make anyone look bad. But the thing is, is um, if it was me, I probably would have been fine a long time ago. True enough, uh, where we live at, um, most people have the same story when, he, when you're renting something. Management property owners don't always do what they're supposed to do, but they do expect you to um, uh, pay your rent and do your part. But we was taught that, you know, you take pride where you live at. You just don't have it all trashy looking or whatever. And this is not my usual video, but I just felt the need to share uh, this with you guys because, you know, as the neighbor I am, you know, I'm trying to help this person and a very good family. A nice, when I say good, nice family, we, we, we don't have any issues with each other, but they lack when they come down to keeping up their appearance for us their um surrounding where they live at and in turn it makes the street look bad and it's only about 14 uh, mobile homes on this street and it's a dead end so when you passing down to get to a certain destination and you see that it's like oh my gosh and it makes people that live in mobile homes have a bad name um so yes, um, you will see in this video, um, them having the owners uh, and the landlord them having to take ownership as far as cutting and fining uh, the gentleman uh, for not having it cut. So let me know what you think about it. Have you ever experienced a situation like that? Um, leave it in the comment down down below. If you know someone. Um, that does that for us keeping their uh, their yard or their area unkept. Um, what was your experience? You know what happened in that pro in that in that situation. Um, leave it in the comment and let me know how I go. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you. So guys, I don't know why I'm whispering, but as you can see, my neighbor has some on the in the ride lawnmower to start cutting their grass but guess what something just killed the lamp the lawnmower and the person that's cutting it is mad they're standing back there under the tree back there as you can see on the phone talking to someone because they ran over something i guess they couldn't see of course because of the high grass and now the lawnmower won't even start back up and that's a shame so what i did was i did put some waters in the freezer and i'm gonna take it to her so she can have something cold to drink she might have it but just in case i feel bad for her um because it's hot but that's one reason why you do not let your grass get that high she made one run one straight run she didn't even get a chance to turn the lawnmower and you may can see it a little bit that little one little streak that she made but it's so bushy and yeah you see my blinds i'm in the house i don't want her to know i'm just filming it i'm gonna go to the door so guys they said that the man is gonna get a 50 dollar fine but i guess it's 50 dollar fine but um, the tarp that used to be on his shed, if you can see up there, got stuck under her zero turn. I think that's what you call those lawnmowers. So they're trying to get it unwrapped from the blade. So it is what it is. She says she's going to try to make sure she blow it his way and not in my area, which I hope. But I told her I did put them some water waters in the freezer to keep them cool so stay tuned for the final product mean results of the yard and see how long it's gonna take she was so mad and she
she did say that they was fining him fifty dollars for not having a cut. They tried to um, get in touch with him to see if he was gonna mow it, but once they took that um, their equipment off the trucks, that he was gonna be stuck with that fine, and he's buying that trailer. But he refused to cut the yard, so anyway, they're doing it now, which that was going to be the only way they was going to get that done without sweating because that grass is so tall. But um, I told her, I put some waters in the freezer for her, so I told her that um, as soon as they get cold, I'll bring them some out so they can have something cool to drink while they're working. But yeah, so I'll be back to show you the finished product. So guys, she didn't do it like a professional, professional cut. But what she did was she knocked it down. She left a little in the back. But I think the guy that came over yesterday uh, to give her some paper about them doing our um, water system. And everything needed to be moving and visible so they can work. I told him to see if they can do do something about him cutting his yard. And um, I guess uh, that's what they did because they knew they had to work over here tomorrow anyway at his place and my place. So yeah, this is the apple effect of what she did. Before you say something, I did not report my neighbor. We all was given a letter last month on what needed to be done so they can work on our street. And he came to me to say they got on him about his stairs and his yard. And he was not doing anything until they do whatever he'd been asking them to do. So... Sorry, but not sorry. I feel bad. I feel like a peeping tongue. <laughs> and this, this video is not intended to be a peeping tongue, but it's really just saying that, you know, you can only be responsible for your area, but your neighbor's um, area also can affect the appearance of your area, especially if it's not a fence. So... And even with me having a fence, adding a fence to mine, you can tell the difference of his uh, his unkept yard. So um, I don't know if they got in the front on the other side of his trailer because it was just as high. And um, they did say he had to repair those stairs. And he got vines. If y'all see those vines, some of them are growing inside. But anyway, that's a whole nother story. <laughs> nice person but they're not really tidy. Hope you like this video. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe, like, and share.